Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to see something about the proportion of right triangles, especially when we draw a line from the vertex, where the right angle corner is, to the hypotenuse of the triangle. So if we draw another line right here, where this line comes in perpendicular to the hypotenuse, you can then see that the large triangle here, which has a hypotenuse equal to 8 units long, and a short side equal to 4 units long, it then splits up the triangle into two other triangles. And it turns out that the proportion of those three triangles are the same. So let's see if that's indeed the case. So let's say that we take the, the size of the short side ratioed uh, compared to the length of the hypotenuse. So we take a ratio there, short side to the hypotenuse of the large triangle, that would be 4 divided by 8. So that's the ratio of the short side divided by the hypotenuse, it's equal to 4 to 8. Now let's do that for the small triangle. The small triangle, here's the short side and here's the hypotenuse. So if we take the ratio of the short side to the hypotenuse, we get 2 divided by 4 and you can see that those are indeed equal. What about the third triangle, this triangle right here? Well, that takes a little bit more work. First of all, let's find out what the length of this side is right here. Now notice using Pythagorean theorem, let's call this side equal to side B. That's directly opposite to angle B right there. And we know from, from the uh, Pythagorean theorem that 8 squared is equal to 4 squared plus B squared. So therefore B squared can be found. B squared is equal to 8 squared minus 4 squared or B squared is equal to 64 minus 16 which is equal to 48. Alright, 48 that can be written as 3 times 16. And so if we take the square root of both sides, we can say that b is equal to the square root of that, which is equal to 4 times the square root of 3. So that would be the length of side b. It's equal to 4 times the square root of 3. Now this side right here, b, is the hypotenuse of this triangle. Now the short side is right here, so we need to find the size of the short side. Again, if we take this triangle, and this is the hypotenuse, and let's say we call this, um, hmm, let's call this side d because we're running out of letters here. So how long is side D? So D here is the long of the two sides. There's a hypotenuse, so we can say that 4 squared is equal to 2 squared plus D squared, or D squared is equal to 4 squared minus 2 squared, which means that D squared is equal to 16 minus 4, which means it's equal to 12. And that can be written as 3 times 4. That's equal to 3 times 4, or d, taking the square root, is equal to 2 times the square root of 3. So this is equal to 2 times the square root of 3. All right, so now we have this triangle right here. We have the hypotenuse, and we have the short side. So the ratio of the short side to the hypotenuse should also be the same as the ratio of the short side to the hypotenuse of the other two triangles. Let's try it. So the short side here is d, the hypotenuse is b, and d is 2 times the square root of 3, hypotenuse is 4 times the square root of 3, when that cancels out, that's equal to 2 divided by 4, and you can see that's again the same ratio. So when we draw the line from the hypotenuse, perpendicular to the hypotenuse, to the vertex where the right angle is, we then divide the right triangle into two smaller triangles, and you can see that the ratio of all three triangles, the large triangle and the two smaller triangles, they are all the same. So all the corresponding angles are equal and all the corresponding sides have the same ratio. And that's what we know now from the right triangle analysis. That's how it's done.